So I'm going to show you guys how to analyze a real estate deal in under five minutes by using my worksheet. And it's pretty much a calculator. Um, so if you guys notice in the link, I think above or below, uh, I put it in on my Mo Hustlers uh, website. Uh, it's just MoHustlers, www.MoHustlers.com slash cash flow. All right. So once you go there, uh, you guys can see it looks like this. You see me on there, right? And uh, this is the cash flow hat, you know. And uh, all you do is pretty much putting your, this is just good, you know, just saying, hey, need to capture some information about you guys, right? So putting your email. So you just go, my email. First name, Chai. Last name. And then putting your info, right? Putting your info and just say, hey, I agree that this is, you know, a work in progress. I'm not a, I'm not gonna sue Chai for it, right? Or whatever. Right. And then once once you click I agree, it gives you this link here. All right. <clears throat> uh what's up, Jamon? And uh you're just gonna go ahead and right click and uh you click on it, right? So you click on it and it takes you to my Google Drive that you can download this Excel file. Now, if you got Google Drive or Google Google Sheets, you can open it in Google Drive, Google Sheets. Uh, or if you have Excel, you can download it and open it in Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and download it, right? Save it. And then I'm going to just open it. Okay, and this is basically what it looks like. So let me do a quick analysis for you guys, and I'll do it slow. But once you, uh, once you, if you guys really do it, you know yourself, um, you should realize that it's pretty fast. So let's just say I pick a, I pick a real estate deal, right? Um, this is the deal, right? Let's go Milwaukee, right? Milwaukee has pretty good deals, right? Ninety thousand. This is the address. So usually, what I'll tell you guys to do is do this: copy the address. So you have a copy of it. Let's go to the Excel sheet. Right, and anything in blue is where you input, you're inputting in fields, right? So anything in blue, you're inputting, right? So uh, just property information, put it here, right, guys? Oop, you gotta enable it. So enable it, that enable, when you enable it, it gives you the right to, you know, utilize that file. Property information, put that in there, control V. Now that that's, that's the address, or I can put it over here. Uh, delete it, so I'll make it look good for you guys. Uh, anything in blue here, right? You're inputting information, so purchase price, Property is make sure it looks good. Ninety thousand, right, guys? So we'll put in ninety thousand here. One, two, three, ninety thousand. Right. Purchase closing costs. Now you can see right here. This is information. Uh, they're typically about one or two percent. Uh, so we can put in like uh, in half, right? We can go in half. So one point five percent, right? So that's the closing cost that you pay to to purchase the house, um, and then uh, and down payment. So usually, you know, if you guys don't know, when you buy a house, you got to put a down payment. You, know, you got to get some skin in the game. <laughs> so um, for us investors, we I usually put twenty percent down. It's up to you guys. If you guys are new purchase, you can do three point five five percent. But you know, it's for us investors, we usually do twenty percent down. So I'll put in twenty percent down. All right. <clears throat> And it spits out a number like this is going to be your exact loan. You need that percent. And then it's going to ask you for interest rate, right? And where do you get this information? All right. So you guys see how everything's color coded here? You have orange, you know, blue, and then yet this purple stuff here, green. You know, I'm giving you guys links, like hints right here, right? So purple here, if you go here, right, it gives you the link, right? So I, I already have it open. This is the link that goes to to that particular link to find out the current interest rate. So for us, we're doing a 30-year fixed rate, or you can do 15 years. Uh, but what we're doing is 30-year fixed rate just for this analysis, right? So it's currently about 7.2, just a rough estimate. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. All right? For the interest rate, right? So remember that that link is right down here. Okay? So 7.2. All right, and what did I say? Uh, 30 years, usually people go 15 years or 30 years. Uh, we're gonna do 30 years, that's the normal. But when you do that, that gives you the monthly payment amount, which is 
uh, four hundred eighty-eight dollars and seventy-three cents. All right, so now we're gonna try to figure out the income for that property, right? And if you guys notice, then you know we can go here for that property. Zillow tells you pretty much that information as well. So if you pull that information on that address, if you go like, uh, price, uh, home value over real. All right, let's go here. Home value, where is it? Down payment, monthly cost, rental value, there you go. Zillow's giving us a rental value of uh, 1025, right? So we can go here and go, all right, for that area, 1025. I can expect to have rent coming for that property. Now, if you want to confirm that, there's also another link here under rental meter, right? Rental meter, let's see if I can have the address here. There we go. I think it's how many bedrooms? When you go there, it says, uh, two bedroom one bath right so it's going to ask you for the address we think it's you gotta put a number maybe a thousand two bed one baths right this is just a prediction and it's coming in wow it's actually coming in lower uh the rent may be too high so it's saying the medium rent on that is 750 right so we can go ahead and modify it so you know, Zillow is saying 1025, rental rate is saying 750. So let's go 750. Is it really 750? Yeah, 750. Just what you need, huh, Chang? <laughs> All right. So you guys don't have to spend 300 bucks on bigger pockets to do this anymore, right? So, um, all right. So then, okay, great. So you can kind of calculate, you kind of get information about this gross rent, uh, Gross, gross monthly income there from Zillow or from rental meter, but we'll go off the low end on rental meter, right? And do do check around, right? Do do test out the numbers. Go high first. Maybe go the 1020, 10, 1025 first, like right? here, right? So let's go with the 1025. Okay. And then you can always lower, right? So once you, once you put it on the market, if there's nobody that's calling you on it, then maybe you can drop it to uh to a uh, 750. Right, but uh, let's go on to the expenses. Right, expense expenses you can find on Zillow as well. So we'll go here. Um, home value, right? Home value. Uh, it's it's kind of giving, and these are these are pretty close. These numbers that Zillow gives out, they're pretty close, right? So I can say I can say property taxes right here is one hundred ninety four a month. So we can go here and put in 194 a month. And insurance here is pretty close as well. It's 32. And you, when I do all my numbers, I mean, when you get ready to buy it, you do want to call them just to get the actual numbers. But uh, these are rough numbers, and they're pretty close. Um, so 32 bucks a month. And then, um, and then the repairs and maintenance. So these are stuff that you want to save up to repair your property and stuff like that. Right. Uh, usually, if it's a brand new house, you don't need any savings, right? You just it's a brand new bill, you don't need to. It's under warranty, so zero, right? But if it's if it's a house that's like less than five years or so, or or ten years, maybe you do want to save up. Or if it's like a, like a Milwaukee house, right? So this house is here. Is let's see, home feature. Uh, yeah, it was built way back then, right? So, yeah, it's way back then. Uh, does it tell you? Uh, right, 1947. It was built in 1947. So, you know, it might need some work. So, like, we can go like 5%, right? It's 5%. And then, uh, so, so that you're saving 5% of it. So saving 5% of your income is like $51 a month. So you can you can put it away so just in case you need to fix stuff like the water heater um, or stuff around the house because it's an old house, right? So vacancy is you want to save up just in case they move out and you have that lag where you're trying to fix it up and there's nobody moving in. So that's just something that you save 
uh, money for. Uh, we can just do 3% on that. And capital expenditures that like you're saving up for your roof or, you know, like hot water heater or fridge, something, something of those big stuff, right? So um, like this, 5%, right? I mean, unless you, unless you fixed up everything before you rent it out. But if it's just something like uh, you just bought it and you're just kind of like uh, doing some small work on it and, you know, don't know. I mean, that's kind of like that came with the house way back then. So, yeah, you kind of do want to put a little higher on it. Uh, so 5% uh, on that is great. Uh, and then the management fee, right? See how I'm putting everything on blue? The management fee, if if you're managing it, then it's usually 10%. You see that? But if it's if you're not managing it, put in zero. Right, so I'm gonna manage it. Let's just say we manage it, right? So the expenses are four hundred eighty-seven, four eight hundred forty-seven ninety-eight, right? So and then you, if you scroll down, this is where everything's at, right? This is all the magic right here. So, the, so we notice that income is is up is up here, which is a ten twenty-five, right? That's for rent, and then expenses for eight forty-seven right here. So you just do the math; it does the math for you. So your monthly cash flow is 177. What do you guys think? Is that good enough for you guys? I don't know. But we'll talk about that in a bit. Cash flow. What's the return on, on your investment, right? So what is your return on investment as far as uh, how much money you put in all together, right? So the closing costs and, and everything, right? So the closing costs is pretty much 1.5% and the down payment and, and everything else together. So uh, to make up that initial investment, right? Uh, maybe I should do a feel on that uh, somewhere. Uh, so it's twenty percent plus the the closing cost. So eighteen. Yeah, I'll do another feel on that maybe down the road. But it's wherever you put in, right? So it'd be like eighteen, like twenty, twenty thousand ish. Uh, so uh, th that's the return on your cash, uh, the percentage on that. All right, and then we'll look at here. You know, oh, there's it. I put, I did put it on there. Total cash needed was nineteen three. So it, for you to buy this deal, this is it. The total cash needed is nineteen thousand three hundred fifty. Right, I did this a while back ago, so that's why I probably forgot what that feels at. So total cash needed to buy this ninety thousand dollar deal right here is nineteen thousand three hundred fifty. Right. So what does this all mean? Right. Do you guys like this stuff? What does this all mean? If you guys got any questions, go ahead and comment below. So what does this all mean? All right. So as a real estate investor, we're kind of looking at two things here. We're looking at your monthly cash flow, right, which is this one here. And we're looking at your cash on cash return on your investment, right? So what's the percentage on that? So what, what an, an investor usually look for on a single family is about $200. I mean, I look for about $200 for that for a single family. To, to to make per month. And then the cash on cash return, right now we're currently looking about eight to like 13% when I look at my deals. So eight to 13%. So that's about right. I mean, this is a great deal if I'm looking to get a rent of 1025. But what if we go to 750, right? For rent. Does that still look good? No, it doesn't, right? So 750. So you, this is the, the thing that you need to check and see if, all right, is the rent comparable to you making a profit? So this is how this spreadsheet tells you. So in this case here, yeah, we'd be losing 62 bucks a month on this. And the cat, I mean, anything negative here is bad, right? So let's just say, but what if instead of buying it for 90, let's just say we go in at it and there were some issues and we go in it at 75,000. That help it, not really. So this is uh, this is oops. so this is kind of how um, so I'm hoping this makes it easier for you guys to analyze the deal. Um, um, and if you got any questions, hit me up. Um, and remember, these links here um, are there for you to to the, they're color coordinated. So uh, in this case here, let's say what looks what looks like a good deal. So if we go back with ninety thousand, and they say they take that offer. And we go back and say, okay, yeah, the rent is 1025. Great. Oops. 1025. 
messed up in the cash flow somewhere. Growth month. Oh, nine hundred thousand. Ninety. There you go. So ninety thousand, ninety thousand on a deal. If if we break, if we bring in a thousand, ten twenty five, then that'd be a great deal. I mean, I like this deal already, and uh, this is what it looks like in Milwaukee. So there you go. Uh, if you guys got any questions, hit me up. Uh, this is just uh, a brief analysis. I'll probably be doing more of this. Just so you guys get to see, if you guys want a copy of this, head over to my website, which is moanhustlers.com slash cash flow, and uh, just subscribe to it, and then uh, you'll get this. Um, and uh, hopefully this makes you guys start looking at more deals instead of asking me all the time, hey, what do you think about this deal? I'm hoping this will get you guys going and say, okay, uh, you guys can do this on your own, and then as the market starts to turn, you guys, we all become successful and rich. So uh, until then, let me know if I can help you guys with anything. Um, and keep hustling, all right, guys? Until then.